Welcome back. It is time to do some math. Finding intersections between two straight lines, two linear functions. It's the church! Or the temple, I should say. That's where it all crosses, and I'm gonna go there. And see what's gonna happen. I'm already getting distracted, but you know what? Nope. I will go straight to the temple and I will explore all of that I'm seeing afterwards. What's happening? No way. <laughs> shit! Holy shit, that thing has some range. Wow. Okay. Damn. I was like, why is there combat music playing? <laughs> You know that Gandalf meme when he's confused looking around? That's what I felt like in that moment. Why is there combat music playing? <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I just jump down here and uh, run up the hill. Here we are. I'm finally gonna get my paraglider. I hope. We'll see if he uh, has another condition. Before that happens. Ah, oh, man. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Temple of Time. Oh! That is glowing now. I think this is Goddess Hylia. Let's see what happens now. Let's pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. Oh. Oh, damn. Hmm. I I think I would like more stamina. You wish to expand your stamina wheel, yes? Yes. I shall grant the power you seek. <laughs> the size of your stamina vessel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Nice. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Go! Oh, that scared me just now. This fucking guy. Why is he up there? The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Wait, is this guy burning? Hmm. Look at him, there's like fire on him. Here I am, get up here, quickly! The hell? He's magical, it seems. So I did see a ladder here, actually, on my way in. Hmm. Okay. Can I go faster? I definitely can. Okay. That's awesome. I have more stamina now. I thought I would I would get a whole new wheel, but uh, I guess not. But this is fine too. Ah, uh, get up there. Ooh, I love the fact that I can climb on anything. Can I climb on that? Oh my, I can climb on literally anything in this game. Look at this. I 
I was kind of hoping for a uh, for a Korok here. Okay, uh, jump. Look at this guy standing there. Hmm. He's definitely uh, some kind of magical being. Excuse me. Oh, there's a chest. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. Okay. King Roam. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. It's all good. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. I'm ready. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. Guardians? This coincided with ancient legends, oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power, and her appointed knight, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away, using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power, and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Oh shit. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. Damn! The appointed knight gravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. 
However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah Slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Damn. Hmm. What a lore dump. Damn. Okay, hold on. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. <laughs> I love these musical medleys that play whenever you find something of value or discover something new. It's just... It feels amazing. Paraglider. An item that you receive from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. That's the jump button. Got it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. <laughs> I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. <laughs> it's funny the way they just disappear like that. Or this guy does, at least. Seek out Impa. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Main quest. All right. Calamity Ganon. And I finally know who Zelda is. I've actually always wondered that. It's a princess. And I was her appointed knight a hundred years ago. So what, I was... I was hurt during that attack. And I was sealed in the tomb to regenerate. And now I'm here, a hundred years later, awoken by Zelda. And she's somehow speaking to me from the castle where she is right now, trying to sustain or contain Ganon. 
Damn, okay. And and the old civilization, the old advanced civilization. I don't think I caught the name for them, but these devices that I was fighting down there in the Eastward Abbey, they were called Guardians. Hmm. And they turned evil because of Ganon. A soldier's bow. Holy shit, 14! That's insane! A bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but it will still burn if it touches fire. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll throw that away since it's already damaged. I'll also throw that away. I wish there was a way to see durability. Okay, give me that. So I should not head directly to the castle. I wonder if I could, if I actually wanted to. Probably not, right? Now I wonder if there's anything else up here. Oh, that was close. I kind of just want to take a look around. I want to see if there's any, uh, any of those... Oh, I forget their name now. Koroks. Somewhere up here. There's gotta be at least one, right? Whoa, almost fell off there. What's here? Whoa. Okay, that works. Dude, it's crazy. Anything is climbable. There's gotta be something up here. Reveal to me something. No? Okay. Hmm. So, why are these guardians turned off now, then? Well, I guess not all of them are. There are some over there in the Eastward Abbey. Is that the name for that place, by the way? Eastern Abbey. Why are they still active, I wonder? They're clearly still under control of Ganon. Now, I forget the colors they had, but I do remember they were sort of reddish, no? Oh, shit. Hold on, I have the glider thing. I have to try that. Uh, How does that work again? Press X while you're in the air to use it. Somehow I completely forgot about that. I was thinking about all the lore. But first, let me climb all the way to the top. I want to get all the way up here. Oh, look at how far up I can go. The extra stamina is really helping, too. Feels good. Uh-oh. I have to take a detour. <laughs> I feel like such a ninja. This is the coolest mechanic ever. Okay, let me regenerate a bit. There we go. Jump, Link. Get up there. I want to get the best view ever. Look at that down there. There's a huge skull again. It's the second one I've seen. Ah, here we go. Here we go. I knew there was a Korok somewhere. Beautiful. I did indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, so... Hold on. Which key was it? X. Okay. I'm gonna jump from here. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's cool! That's awesome! Damn! Holy shit, I can go far. Uh, where do I want to go? Here. Amazing. I love that. Wait, I think I'm back in the beginning, actually. 
You know, I kind of just want to take a look inside the tomb again. Where I started. Oh man, the allergies right now are killing me. In real life here, I... It's bad. It's bad. Uh, up here, I think? So yeah, if I sound a little nasal, it's because, uh... It's because of that. It's really killing me nowadays. Okay, let's check this out. This is where I came from. Shrine of Resurrection. I didn't even think about that at first. But it all makes sense now. So wait, what, was I hurt or was I dead? Resurrection sort of means... I came back from the dead, no? I was lying in this. And that was filled with water, if I'm not mistaken, so... Maybe I was actually sort of frozen. Which would explain why I'm not dead. Uh, why I didn't die of, of old age, I guess. And then I was thought... Hold on. Um, I want to try and break these boxes. I guess I can use the woodcutter's axe, because these are made of wood. Nothing in that one. Okay. Usually uh, games like to hide secrets in the very beginning. Where you started, you know? So I was just, I was just gonna check. Maybe there was something. Okay, okay, okay. Man, look at this view as you enter, uh, as you exit. With the volcano in the background there. Such a great start. We have sticks. Okay, so I can basically fly from here. I don't have to think about this anymore. I can... Uh, the world is my oyster. I can do whatever the hell I want now. Where do I want to go, though? I should follow the advice of, uh, of King Roam. And use my scope to figure out where to go next. Actually, I do know where to go next. There was a spot over here I wanted to check out. Can I fly from here? Oh, amazing. I love that. Whoa. Oh yeah, see, there, those rocks over there. Right there, I want to break those. Oh, check this, check this out. Right in the center. <laughs> huh? Okay. That was weird. How could I ever have figured that out though? If I didn't just randomly try to jump into the lake. I guess it is a little curious the way... I don't know, what do you call these things on, on the water? I don't know what it's called in English. In Danish, it's called Okana. That's not what this is. Look at these frogs. By the way, I still wanted to make that uh, seafood dish for King Rome. Oh, I maybe I can't do it anymore. It seems like he's gone, no? I'm not sure. Um, I guess I can use these for that. Amazing. Oh man, I love this paraglider. Wait, what just happened? Oh, okay. An opal. Oh man. I don't enjoy getting those opals anymore. I have so many. All these valuable gems and stones. I don't know what to use them on or for yet. Uh, it was on the other side of this temple. By the way, I think this... Well, it's still glowing. 
Can I do something new here? Why is this glowing? Hold on a second. Oh! <gasps> you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. But you do not yet have four spirit orbs. Okay, okay. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. Okay. So there's more. This is the sign. This right here. That is the sign I saw on one of the metal boxes scattered around this area. I wonder if that is the sigil of Hylia or Hyrule. I'm not sure. It's got to be either one of those. The Kingdom of Hyrule's got to have a banner, right? Down here. There, the skull. That's what I wanted to explore. And there's also a bridge here. I want to check that out. Hold on, I, I, I keep forgetting. I can just do this. Can I also just let go at any time? I can. Beautiful. God damn, I'm a fucking shot. That was the last arrow too. <laughs> Dude, I can totally do crazy infiltrations here. Oh, they're alerted. Uh oh, I should probably sneak. Oh. Oh, evil ideas are forming in my mind. Actually, hold on. Yeah. Oh no, I don't have a... Shit. Guess I'll use fire. <laughs> this is great. Oh, can I do a jump attack? Hold on. Um, no. Weapon? What do I want to use? Maybe this one. I wonder if I can parry him somehow. What if I what if I do this at the very last second? Hold on. Oh, I, I sort of missed that. Hold on. Let's try again. Come on. Oh, no. Oh shit. Okay. Uh Hold on. I'm trying something. Okay. Hit me. No, it didn't do anything. Unless I timed it wrong. Try again. Hmm. Is there some other button, maybe? I can jump. Jump out of the way of... Right, I had this happen before. So I have to do that exactly when he hits me. Dude, that's so cool. Come on, let's try again. How is that not timed perfectly? Unless I misread it. I forget what he said. Okay, okay, okay. It works like that. Okay, I don't want to kill him yet. I actually just want to play with him a bit. I want to learn combat here. Um, what other options do I have? When I'm holding the shield. I can throw my weapon. I don't want to do that. What if I s double click shield? Nothing. Can I really not parry or something? Or what do you call it? A riposte. Oh! Yeah, you can! Look at this! Hey! <laughs> I knew it had to be possible! You can't have a shield without parrying! Oh yeah. Time to, uh... Time to display my Dark Souls skills now. I'm so glad I experimented with that. Spiked Boko Club. A reinforced Bokoblin club made to maximize damage. The sharpened bones jabbed into it make it a brutal weapon. And I can't carry anymore. God damn it, this is so anticlimactic every time this thing pops up. I guess I'll throw this away. 
Dude, that is a brutal looking weapon. Holy shit. I would not want to be on the receiving end of this one. Okay, let me check this out in here. You know what? I, I want to try something real quick. Let me... Drop that. Let me get this again. I just want to see if this is possible. Can I cut this wire by throwing a sword on it? That has to be possible. Yep. Amazing. I'm loving the way you can interact with the world in this game. Feels very sandboxy, you know? Okay, let's check out what's up here. Dude, I'm gonna be parrying everyone now. Fire arrow. I'll take it. How about some regular arrows? I only have five of those. That's because I keep using them. There's gotta be a way to craft them. Maybe I'll discover it when I leave the plateau. Okay, let's check out these guys over here. I see explosive barrels. I see one over there. I can probably just hit that with a fire arrow. Let's try that. Let's see here. Like that. God damn, I am a fucking sharpshooter. That was beautiful, man. <laughs> that was beautiful. And then I steal their lunch. I'm such a bully. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fine. Why is there a stone up there? Hold on. Is there like a secret here? Can I break the floor by throwing that off? The, the floor does look a little... Or the ground looks a little... Uns yeah, look at that. Ugh. No, it didn't do anything. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this. <laughs> oh man, that was surprising. I, I just spammed my jump button. That just happened automatically. Hmm. Okay. So that part is cleared. What else should I try? Where have I not been is the question. Thank God for this. I haven't been around these parts. You know, I should just put markers. I should do a... Oh, can I not put markers while I'm in that mode? Oh, that's annoying. I can't do it. Okay. Well, it, it, was, it was about here. So maybe I'll just put a stamp box? Oh, a pin. Okay, yeah, sure. And let's do a pin there. Where else have I not been? How do I see everything again? Back forward? Uh, maybe I just leave the map for a second? Hold on. There we go. And I haven't been here either. I want to check out what's going on. Oh, and there. That looks interesting. River of the Dead. Now that looks interesting, doesn't it? There's also something here. Is that a waterfall? There's got to be a secret behind a waterfall. It's a video game. Whoops. Okay, these controls are a little annoying. The way I can't m pin the map while I'm in the hero's path mode. It's a bit annoying. Let me do that. And let me just do one in the middle here as well. Because I want to explore this whole area. Man, look at my minimap. It's just all the colors. All right. So hold on. I click on that button. That's weird. It's funny how the game doesn't tell you this. Or at least maybe it did and I missed it. But if I hadn't experimented with that, I may not have even figured that out. That's crazy. Unless it tells me later. But I like that actually. I really do. It doesn't hold your hand. Oh, that was close. I should have actually done a running jump. 
if I was being smart about it. So wait, I have been here, I think. This is, uh... Yeah, this is the area where the old man's hut was. Or King Roam, I guess. So, King Roam was killed. But he somehow persists in spirit form now? So he was sort of guiding me. He wants me to rescue his daughter, Zelda. King Roam. Okay, so stupid question here. I was appointed knight by Zelda. But like... Are we a couple or something? I don't know, I just... Somehow I always got that uh, impression from that. Hmm. Don't answer that, by the way. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. Don't tell me anything, really, unless I specifically say so. Okay, damn it. The guy's gone. I was trying to go I was trying to see if I could make him that food. The dish that he was craving. Uh, I've been down there, so maybe go up here now and to the left. Just follow these markers that I put down. Also, I quickly want to go into here. Adventure log. Press A on an active quest to display its waypoints. Okay, yeah. Uh da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I read that. The isolated plateau. The old man you were talking to informed you that he was King Roam. The voice you heard coming from Hyrule Castle was Princess Zelda. The princess is trapped inside the castle, which is shrouded in malice, fighting against Ganon. So it seems to me that Zelda has magical powers. The way she raised her hand and sort of created a some kind of energy shield to protect herself against Ganon. The king's ghost left you with one last directive. Rescue Princess Zelda and defeat Ganon. He gave you the paraglider now that his duty is done. You know, I, I like the simplicity of this story so far. It's kind of what I need, you know? I've been thinking too hard in Hollow Knight uh, trying to connect things. It's nice to be able to just have a story served to me, <laughs> in a way. You know, it's the, old, it's the tale as old as time. Go... Rescue the damsel in distress. So I have to seek out Impa. You are tasked with going to Kakariko village to speak with Impa, who will give you more details on your quest. Descend from the Great Plateau and head east beyond the dueling peaks, then follow the road to the north. The blinking dot on your Sheikah Slate's map will guide the way. Okay, then we have Destroy Ganon. So these are both main quests. And they were both given to me by King Roam. Okay. The ghost of King Roam told you that Hyrule is on the brink of annihilation. Princess Zelda is currently fighting to contain Calamity Ganon inside Hyrule Castle. But her power cannot keep him at bay forever. Eventually Ganon will regain his full strength and destroy the world. Your ultimate task is to aid Princess Zelda in defeating Ganon before that can happen. But wait, has she been fighting with Ganon for a hundred years? And she's she's just been like fucking pouring her sweat, blood and tears into that fight while I was chilling for a hundred years? And now I'm back? Hmm. What's a couple weeks more gonna do, you know? <laughs> If she's been doing that for a hundred years. Very, very odd. Ooh. An acorn. There was also something else I wanted to say. Right, uh, that was a huge lore dom. I, have to, I need some time to process it all. Uh, and remember it, I guess. So there were four champions. And there was something about... Ancient beasts. And pilots or something? That was super weird, the way that uh, was explained. I didn't quite catch all of it. I may have to look at the recording for that. 
Have I been here? No, I haven't. Let me go this way. Look at that up there. That's the that's the uh, sigil again. I I think that's the sigil of Hyrule. It would make sense, right? Because it's everywhere around uh, around these parts. Ooh, peppers. I'll take those. Conveniently placed before the cold area. Once again, to nudge the player into thinking uh, to use them in a dish, you know? It's very, very smart. Yo, that's a boat. Or a raft. I should say. Hmm. I want to light this, see what happens. I mean... Yeah, they provide firewood too. Last time I tried... Ooh, a cooking pot here. Last time I tried to make a fire in the snow, it didn't work though. There's a coral leaf, but I already have one of those. Hopefully this guy's not going to come alive. I doubt it. Thank you. I'm curious to find out what I can use those screws for. And the springs. Ooh, 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 I see that. I should really be doing this. Oh, look at this over there. It's such a long range. Hold on, what's that on the tree? Oh, cool. Look at that. That's a that's an axe embedded in the tree. I get it. Oh, that's so smart, the way they did that. Check this out. If I'm correct, I'm gonna make a bridge now. That's why they put it here, to show me. Look! Oh my god, it's genius! Yeah! Let me do more. That is fucking genius. I'm gonna make a bridge like this. Hold on, let me just throw this in, this, in, the, <laughs> in the sea and grab that. Uh, okay, look. Oh, wait, no, really? Oh, that's cool as hell. I wonder if I can cut enemies like this with the... <laughs> wait a minute, can I cut a tree down like this, I wonder? There's no way. If this works, it's, this is the game of my year. No, I'm kidding. So, I mean, but it's just... Wait, I have to get closer with it. Uh, actually, hold on. It's kind of angled oddly. I need to do it from this angle. Like that. So let's angle it. There. Here we go. Ah, oh, there's not enough power. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but I wonder if it works on enemies. I know enemies can take damage from things falling, so... Why not with weapons? Okay, give me this. Dude, I love this mechanic. An amber, come on. Give me something original in one of these chests. There's also one over here. There's gotta be something behind that waterfall. I'm calling it. There we go. I can't tell you how... How much of a godsend this motion control feature is for me. As someone who absolutely sucks at aiming with a, con with a controller. Like, this whole bow thing, it's kind of blowing my mind how well that works. Ooh, this is actually a little sketch. Let me save the game. Before I attempt this. Hey! Oh, beautiful. Very smooth. Ooh, this one though. Ah, oh, nice. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Why 
What does my eagle eye see? Uh. Oh, I get it. Yes. That's why they put a cork leaf over there in the hut. Oh my god, I'm gonna... I guess I'm going to the other side. Let me try and give it all I got. Dude, I wonder if I can charge my bow. The way I'm charging this weapon, I, I should be able to charge my bow as well, right? Oh. Man, Link is exhausted. Okay, maybe it's better to just actually do it like that. Okay, that's good. Awesome. Uh, can I somehow stop this from... I need an anchor. I have an idea. Oh, God! Actually, that would make sense with the fire, but... No. Oh, you bastard! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what's that? White choo-choo jelly. A jiggly substance that came from an ice choo-choo. It's cold to the touch, and squeezing it seems to relieve stress. <laughs> if struck, it will explode in a cold mist. Okay. Give me that arrow. Uh, I'm gonna stop this from going further. With this technique. Come on. Oh, I'm way too slow. Next one. Oh no, I don't have time for you guys! Shit! Oh my god. This is a disaster. Run! Okay, emergency procedures. Let's just explode these fools. Beautiful. Off with you. And you, sir. Get away from me. We've got red choo-choo jelly and white choo-choo jelly. Okay, my technique here didn't work. I wanted to stop the the raft with this with this thing right here, but it seems I was too late. Oh well. Oh well. In fact, while I'm here, do I see anything? I should actually activate this all the time. It's like a nice, uh, neat little scanning feature almost. To highlight some points of interest or objects of interest. Um... Sure. <laughs> the way it just fizzles out. That's a good effect. Oh, I should use the bow to get through. No, wait. There's a cave here. I'm blind. Oh, <gasps> Treasure. This has to be a trap. There's no way. Something's gonna jump out of the ground. No? So... Damn it. I don't know what to throw away. This is such a annoying problem. I'll just throw that away. I want this. See, that looks beautiful. I love the look of this sword. Spiked Boko Bow. An upgraded Boko Bow bound with animal bone to boost its durability and firepower. Why does that increase its firepower? Its craftsmanship is sloppy, but it's light and easy to use. And dude, it's like 12 damage. That is actually significant. Damn. Oh, arrows. Nice. I need that. More arrows, please. Yep, I'll take it. I will take that any day. Also, I will take a little bit of a meal too. There we go. Now, what do we have here? Just scanning. Maybe I should also scan with this. Look at that. The hell? What about... Oh! <gasps> Yo! What the fuck? 
I can do them uh, horizontally. I wonder if that's intended. That that seems a little janky, almost. There's no way. Can I actually? Okay, I have to try this. Hey! Oh, I maybe made that a little too far. Hey! Okay, now nah, that was perfect. Oh my god, it actually just works like that. <laughs> I can climb the waterfall. Look at this. Dude, this is fucking amazing. Okay, this is intended for sure. I don't know if I want to do this though. Ooh, I can sort of cheat here. Look behind. Oh, there's actually a little platform up there. Hold on. Maybe this is worthwhile. Dude, I'm having so much fun in this game. It's insane. The possibilities are just off the charts. Oh, I almost pushed myself out. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny as hell, though. Look at this! I made my way all the way up here. Okay, I can probably scale that wall now. I'm a little scared, though. Okay, I need some room here. Go! Oh, nice. That worked. Worst case, I can parachute down from here. Oh my god, there's a chest! I am a god gamer! More fire arrows. They are very liberal with those, huh? I should use them at every opportunity, I guess. So, hold on, where am I now? I think I've been over there, have I not? I definitely have. Okay, the next step is, where have I not been here? I guess I could keep going up. I can just climb, actually. Don't, no need to make this more complicated than it is. I'm scared to do the jumping here because if I run out of... Uh, Stamina, I'm gonna fall. Okay. Beautiful. Now, question. What if I paraglide to the other side here? Can I stick to the wall from my paraglide? Uh, maybe it's not the best place to test it, because if I actually fall in the water, I'm dead. So, let me test it uh, here. If that is enough height for that. Let me try. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that worked. I think I hit the ground there. Okay, let me just climb up here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I want to try and parry him again. Which was it? That one. Come on. Oh! Yes! Fall into- You bastard. By the way, I wanted to try that jumping attack. I guess I just... Yeah, it definitely works. I would be surprised if it didn't. Oh shit! Wrong button! Uh, like that. Come on. Oh, you bastard. Oh yeah. Oh, that's glorious. How come parrying is so satisfying in video games, huh? Tell me that. It's such a simple technique, you know? Just time it right. But it's satisfying as hell. I actually really like that part of Sekiro. The parrying. 
I mean, the combat was a little arcadey, I guess, because of that. It was basically a quick time event. Practice simulator. But it was fun. It was satisfying. Okay, I've been all over here, I think. But you know what, actually? There was one suspicious place down here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. There was a thing I couldn't move, but maybe with that uh, kinematic uh, storing energy technique. Yep, look at this. This is exactly like the one I found earlier, but I can't use my magnet on it. It's not made of magnet, it's made of rock. So, this one presumably, or maybe even place a bomb underneath it? Hold on, I want to try that. We're experimenting. So I want to drop it, I guess. Hey. Oh shit, oh shit, I almost fell down. Let's get to safe distance. Fire in the hole! Okay, nothing happened. But you know what? I have an idea. Let's do this. Whoops. Oh, wrong button. Actually, let me uh, put it closer. Can I put it closer? Good enough. And then I do... That. And I go over here. I choose this one. Fire in the hole! Okay. Ah, not quite. Maybe I have to hit it. I'm overthinking this. I just have to hit it, <laughs> I think. I don't want to use a... Mm, ah, maybe this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how to do it. That has to be enough. <laughs> Holy fuck! Not only was that enough, that fucking... Slingshotted that away, man. I knew there was gonna be one down there. Yeah! <laughs> I can't get enough of the physics in this game. It's actually really well done. I did not expect a physics simulation in in a Zelda game like this. I don't know why. It just yeah. I mean, I haven't played a Zelda game in my life, so maybe that's normal. Maybe they always uh, experimented with physics-related puzzles and stuff like that. But for some reason, I just didn't imagine that. I always thought Zelda would be a you know a game rooted in Magic and dragons and stuff, you know? Fantasy, I guess. The, the classic fantasy med medieval style. But I guess it also sort of is. But then not really. There's also sci-fi aspects to all this. You know, with the... Uh, what, what are they called? With the guardians using lasers? Like, what the hell? That's like a weird mix between magic and uh, and science fiction. But I'm all for it. It sounds and feels amazing. You know, speaking of lasers, I wonder if I can parry that, imagine. I was thinking that I could find a reflective shield. Maybe I can parry the laser with my shield if I time it correctly. I doubt it though, because I think I still need to find a metal shield. Because wood is just gonna, well, burn. It's, it's fire, right? It's a laser. It's gonna heat it up, so... I don't think it's worth trying. Whoa! Nice. I can actually combo that like that. So what am I? What am I doing here? Should I just start leaving the plateau? I kind of don't want to. I just. I want to keep finding things here. Maybe I just. Maybe I should. I can always come back, right? Or can I? Can I come back? Hold on. Let me remove this. Delete pin. This as well. And that one. Where have I not been? Oh my god, I've actually been almost everywhere. I haven't been down here. At all, actually. Let me just go here, and this is this will be the last place. That I explore. This area right here. And here. Those are not explored with my thing, right? Okay, 
Let's go there. Hmm. Can I make it? Hold on. Let me try this now. Oh yeah, that totally works. That's good to know. I can even be a little naughty here with my climb. Oh, that was a bit risky. So I actually want to go... I want to follow this... Uh, I want to follow the river and go up over here with where the stones lead up. That's what I want to do. Wait! Uh-oh. Don't hit the water. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Perfect. I do know there's a fast travel option, but I don't like using those. And you know what else? I don't like using the minimap markers for quests either. I've always hated that in World of Warcraft and stuff. Like, whenever they started introducing that, I hated that. Because it, it just made me play the minimap and not the game. And, um... Maybe, uh, maybe, is there a way to turn that off, I wonder? I always liked the old school classic World of Warcraft style where you were told where to go and you should have had to navigate by landmarks, stuff like that. Hey, oh yeah, this one definitely on. Change jump button. Ooh. Oh, but I've already rewired my brain. Yeah, I'm actually gonna leave it now. Hot mode? What? Pro? Is that what I'm... Is that what I... Is that what that is? Oh, oh, the entire hut is gone. No, wait, there's still hearts. Oh, wait, what if I open this? Is that still gonna show... Okay, it is. Cancel. Oh, I guess I can just turn it off here. Oh, I'm totally overthinking this. I don't need to turn anything off. I can just uh, disable the quest marker. Huh. Well, that's that's exactly what I wanted. Let me turn the thing on again. I do actually want the minimap. Pro. <laughs> okay. Message window transparency? Just keep it regular. Ability controls. Oh, this is actually good. That means... Perfect guard. Parry at the right time to knock an enemy back. Yeah, I figured that out. So here's a question. I see there's one, two, three, four that I have not discovered yet. So I should keep experimenting. I found a lot of them so far, but it seems like I'm still missing five. I wonder what that could be. Maybe with a bow. No? Hold on. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll figure it out soon. When the need arises. The game has been pretty good so far at telling me things. Indirectly. Maybe it has already told me a bunch of things that I missed. <laughs> it's possible. Something that went over my head. What is that up there? Okay, it's just like a little cavity in the mountain. It looked like a cave for a second. Okay, so I should go to my markers. So right here. I've been there. That's the shrine. I haven't been on the this part over here, I guess. That's why I marked it. Hold on, can I just... I wanted to paraglide. Okay, I can't. Never mind. Oh, you know what I'm going to try, though? With my shield. If someone shoots an arrow at me, I'm going to try and see if I can deflect it. You know, just for the badassery. I don't think there's anything here. Could 
be wrong. But I think it's time to move on here. Oh, wait a minute. Something's going on here. Oh, I see. It's it's a Korok thing. I'm going to place the stone, complete the circle. It's going to appear in the middle. Watch this. Yep. <laughs> they all have different uh, colored leaves, too, as masks. I have 14 of these. I can't wait to figure out what I can use them for. So it was worth backtracking a little bit here. I'm glad. I was afraid I was going to be wasting my time completely. Man, look at that area over there. Almost looked like a... Looks like the Grand Canyon or something. Actually, it looks like Mexico. It has the Mexico filter on it. <laughs> uh. Ooh, hold on. Oh, there's no way I can hit... Oh, no, I have to try this. I have to try that. Oh, I'm gonna go up on this rock here. Maybe it's gonna come back. Yeah, look, look, look. Oh. Nope, I have to get higher. Get all the way up here. I want to shoot that so bad. A part of me thinks maybe there's a Korok coming out somewhere if I hit it. Come on, come on, Ling, you can do it. You can do it. Get up there. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we are. Look, perfect place. Now I just need to wait for it to come back. Seems like it's just circling. Okay, let's see here. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oof. Oh, man. Shit. Man, look at the arrows are going all the way down. Simulated like that. Uh, okay, okay, come on. One more try. Do I have other things I can do, maybe? I don't think so. Oh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna give up. Unless... Oh, sorry, but I have to try this now. Damn it, I clicked the wrong button. I wanted to paraglide to that mountain. I want to paraglide down on top of it and hit it with my sword. <laughs> I know I'm being a little bit silly right now. But it's fun, man. I like experimenting. Let's get up there. Come on, you. Jump. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Now where? There it is. Let me get up here, even. How come I didn't hit it? <laughs> oh no! Where am I? Where am I? Wait. Is this... Is this that mountain? No, this is the... 
Oh yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try once more. Worst case, I shouldn't just fall down. I should use my paraglider to save myself there. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, where is it? It's gone! No! No! Oh! Oh, maybe I can arrow it in the air? No way, I have to be super quick. Unless, hold on, let me try something real quick. <gasps> huh? Time slows. Okay, this is it, this is it. I wonder if that's always like that or only if I fall, hold on. Oh my God, that's so fucking cool. Yo, I think I discovered another thing, another ability. Okay, okay, this has to be it. Come on. Let me get close. Time slow, so we're fine. Soaring with eagles. Oh no! Fuck! I couldn't aim further down, I was too close. Oh man. What is this BS? Man, what's going on with the snow here? It's like all red from the sunset, I guess. I guess I just answered my own question in the same sentence I asked it. All right, fine. We're gonna try once more. I don't wanna go all the way up though. Just a bit more. We need to end this episode on a amazing note. Come on. Make it count. Yeah! Oh, shit. Oh, I thought I died for a second. I did it! Robert thigh! A high-quality piece of meat that's hard to come by. You can eat it raw, but cooking it first will recover more hearts. Heck yeah, dude. Fucking worth it. <laughs> uh, let me eat a meat skewer in... in in a celebration there. That was glorious. Guys and girls, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next episode. I will finally leave the Great Plateau. Goodbye.